Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a video about my um, favorite nail products and how I take care of my nails. Um, to be honest, I don't do anything too extreme to my nails. I kind of cut them when I feel like it. Um, my nails are really long right now because I'm kind of lazy to do anything. But um, I do, I'm kind of diligent with rubbing oils on my cuticle because my cuticles can get really hard and um, my nails are really dry so I'll put either coconut oil or almond oil or olive oil or any kind of oil that I have lying around. Um, also I use a really good hand care system. I always moisturize my hands. I'm really big on that. Um, for like soaps and creams and stuff I'm really careful what I buy because my hands dry out really easily. So I've been using um, Satin Hands by Mary Kay and it is, while it is expensive, it does last you a really long time. Everything is very concentrated. Um, it consists of three things and um, you don't have to use them every day. You can keep it in your bathroom to use every day or your kitchen or wherever you choose to. I keep mine in my kitchen because I like to use it after I wash, you know, wash dishes, which I haven't done in like forever. <laughs> But um, if I have to do something where my hands are going to be dried out or whatever, I will use um, my satin hands. So this is the hand scrub and it's called Satin Hand, Satin Hand, Satin Smoothie Hand Scrub. And as you can see, my bottle is still quite full. Um, it's about this much full and I've had it for a year. So... It's, uh, I, and I use it about twice a week, so this lasts a really long time. Unfortunately, these poor bottles have had so much trauma done to them. Um, this one I dropped and I cracked it, so I retaped it. But um, so it's about this much full. It's, it was lying on its side, that's why it's still selling. But it's a very thick, foamy scrub with, I believe it's apricot kernels inside. Um, or peach rather, peach seed powder and um, stuff like that and it, it's very exfoliating and um, non-drying, it's wonderful stuff, it's my favorite by far and it's $51 for a set of three, uh, which is the scrub and um, the hand cream which I'm going to talk about right now, which the container is contorted because I burned it by accident um, on the toaster oven. So um, this is their cream, and it's just called Satin Hands Hand Cream, and it's a very um, soft, silky hand cream, and I, I concentrate it on my knuckles and my cuticles and on my nails. Um, I'm very moisturizing, and it, it doesn't um, leave like residue behind, that's what I really like about it, because some hand creams can, um, but this one's really good, it doesn't leave like a weird film on your hands. And the third part is the Extra Emollient Night Cream, and this is for really dry skin. You can actually use this on your face as well because they do sell it for the face. And um, basically what it is, it's for hands that are really, really dry or chapped. If you go running or you garden, like you do gardening or um, anything like that where your hands are under, you know, severe um, conditions, you would use something like this. Um, so what I do is, you, I do the scrub, and then I do um, the, some of this emollient cream while my hands are still a little bit damp, because I find it um, it works better when my hands are damp. It tends to lock in the moisture better, so I always use this when my hands are damp. And then after I put that, I'll put some of the hand cream. Um, I have really ashy elbows and um, knees and stuff, so this cream really helps for anywhere that's really dry. Even on my face, I use it because it is for your face as well. Um, you can use it in your drier areas. I always use it around my chin and around my nose. So this is this is pretty much my hand care system. Just three pieces. <laughs> um, so for other products that I like, um, I do I do really like um, using a base coat before I put on my nail polish. And my favorite favorite one is China Glaze Strong Adhesion. And I really like this one because um, I find that it, it grips 
the nail polish really well. And I never really get any staining. Uh, using it, sometimes you use a cheaper base coat and uh, the nail polish, well, the colored nail polish will seep through and you still get patches of, you know, um, staining. But this one's really well and it doesn't come off easily. So I, I really like that. Um, for my top coat, I used China Glaze Fast Forward Top Coat, and I find that it really does help my nail polish last um, quite a long time. So these are my top and top coat and base coat. Um, for drying my nails, I really like Drip Dry by OPI, and they're these little drops that you just put on top of your nail polish while it's drying to help uh, speed up accelerate um, the drying process of the nail polish so I really really like this and it doesn't uh, dry out your nails which is good because some al products that have like um, alcohol in them will but I don't think this one has alcohol in it let's see no it doesn't have alcohol but it has jojoba seed oil so I think it's sort of like a dry oil that kind of coats the nail polish to protect it while it's drying but it's a really good product it is kind of expensive but it does last you a really long time so that's one product that I really like um, for drying my nail polish and the last one I'm saving this one for last because it's the cheapest product but it's my top favorite product um, it's the Shea Butter um, Rapid Finish nail nail polish drying um, spray and it's along the lines of drip dry as where they dry they accelerate the drying of your nail polish but this one's different this one is actually sort of like an oily texture and I really like it because when you spray it it's like the texture of a dry oil and it does leave a bit of a shiny film on your skin but it is really if like I get really like I don't know if you can see right there but I get really dry I think they're called hangnails. <laughs> I can really dry patches and peeling on my cuticles, but when I use this, I don't. I especially get peeling and stuff around my nails when I use nail polish remover um, or acetone because it is quite drying. Alcohol, I think it's alcohol based. So um, when I do use those products, I get a lot of flaking and dryness and itching around my my cuticles here so when I use this product I don't get any of that and it keeps my nails moisturized and it keeps my fingers moisturized and I when I spray it I kind of rub it all over my hands too so that's another way that I um, moisturize but um, this is a really good deal it was two dollars at Dollarama so if you live in Canada check out your Dollarama because they might have this because I believe this is at least ten dollars in in Walmart so um, yeah that's pretty much what I do. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, please feel free to let me know and comment on the bottom and I'll get back to you about it. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys another time. Bye.